Welcome to Trading Nation. I'm Sarah Eisen. The tech sector getting its groove back and closing in on an all-time high. Does the rally have more room to run? Lindsay Bell is an investment strategist at CFRA Research. Lindsay, nice to see you. Thanks for having me. What do you think is the catalyst here that sparked this rally in tech? You know, I really think that but this is a sector that really didn't react to earnings initially until Facebook came out. That was the, the initial stock that really sent this, this sector downward. And once earnings were fine and we got past that, we got great earnings from another, a couple other names like Microsoft and Intel. They raised guidance. Everything was great. So the sector started moving up. And then we got Warren Buffett in the sector saying he's, he's buying more and more of Apple. He can't get enough. What did you get from company guidance as to whether the impressive earnings growth that we saw out of some of these big cap tech names can continue? Yeah, I mean, guidance was very, very good for this group. And, you know, the first quarter numbers were more impressive than any other sector that we've seen. Um, yet the numbers, the consensus sell side analyst numbers, they didn't move very much. We saw them increase a little bit for 2017, but 20. Not, or excuse me, 2018, but 2019 numbers actually came down a little bit, which was a bit surprising because this is a sector that is, in our view, going to drive economic growth going forward. Why do you think it's the growth names that are still so much in demand by investors, the so-called FANG names, versus some of the values which you can still find in technology? Well, I think that the, that the value names, they've had a hard time. Growth really led in 2017 value. Everyone wants to like them. They want to get involved, but you really need to see steady and um, strong economic growth going forward. And it's been quite a choppy Q1. It looks like things are starting to turn the corner in Q2, but there's a lot of overarching concerns like inflation and interest rates like that, that are really weighing on the market overall. And the one thing that you can trust is that you're going to get high quality growth from these, these cyclical sectors like the tech sector. Do you worry that there's a headwind or maybe a, floor, a top on the valuation when it comes to regulation out of Washington with names like Facebook, with Mark Zuckerberg testifying, or Amazon being the subject of a presidential tweet? Yeah, I mean, I think that is uh, definitely a concern that weighs over this sector in particular. And maybe that is partially why the numbers haven't come up more significantly like some of the other sectors that we have seen. You've had Facebook and Google and others. They're talking about spending more money on privacy. They're making a, a greater focus of it so that the consumer can tell that they are more interested in, in improving their privacy um, settings. But the numbers aren't moving. What about if the president goes through with his threat to implement the tariffs on China? Which companies within technology could be most affected in terms of that global supply chain? We see the semiconductors as being the most negatively impacted by any trade war with China. You know, President Trump is very, very focused on uh, intellectual property that they are stealing from the United States. And most of that intellectual property lies within the semiconductor space. So those are the, the companies that you saw got hit hard when the, the China trade war uh, news started to flare up and really has had a hard time um, recovering. All right, Lindsay, thank you. Always good to check in with you on earnings and thank technology you. today. Lindsay Bell, investment strategist with CFRA Research. And thank you all for watching Trading Nation. I'm Sarah Eisen. We'll see you next time. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.